In this lecture, we'll take a look at how we can serve our content when the internet connection is offline. So here, what we'll be doing is we'll be caching all the results from our API into a cache. And then using that cache, we'll populate the page so that even when the user is offline, they are still able to view the contents of the website. Now to do that, here in our code, I've made some changes. For instance, once you have your build copy ready, you go inside that and open up the JS directory and uh, also open up the generated service worker file. So here it is, serviceworker.js. Now, this serviceworker.js is the key file in order to make your web application progressive web application. So what we are doing over here is, first of all, we have created a cache, which we're calling as Skill Bakery Cache. Now this cache, when the application is up and running, will be available under application, cache storage, and here you can see this cache is appearing. Now, this cache is going to store some of the URLs that the build directory contains. For instance, the root, then the 5 icon, then the asset manifest, the manifest, the service worker.js file itself, and the index.html. All these files are inside the build directory. As you can see, asset manifest, index, manifest, and service worker. After that, you'll notice we have also included some of the chunk files that were generated and they reside inside the static JS directory. Now, these chunk files basically contains our API calls that we initially created in our app.js file. So this Flickr call that we have over here is mentioned in one of these chunk files. And finally, we have also cached the Flickr URL itself. So the response from this will also be stored in cache. So all these URLs have been cached now. And after that, we have introduced three event listeners. First one is the install, then activate, and then we have fetch. Install, whenever the application gets started. So at that point, what it will do is, it will open up the cache that we have created, and it will add all those URLs mentioned in the URL to cache array to the cache that we have created as skill bakery cache. Now once that's done, the activate one will remove the older cache and it will ensure that the content in the cache is always relevant and recent. After that, we have the fetch. Now whenever we make a call to a resource on the internet, the fetch event listener will get triggered. And here you can see we are first of all checking our cache and here you can see we are first of all checking our cache and if the request is present in cache we are taking the response and sending it back. We are not going to fetch it from the internet. And if there is no response available in that case we are going and fetching it from the internet. So that's why we have all these logs coming up, which says found in cache, then the request is mentioned, and corresponding response is also logged in the console itself, and then the response is returned back from the cache itself. So these three additions we have made to our service worker file, install, activate, and fetch. Now, here, when we are running this, application in the browser. Let me close this and clear this. Let me reload this page or better to create a duplicate of it and close this one. So here if I now go into Chrome Developer Tool, you'll find a couple of things over here. First is the service worker. Now service worker is running at this time so we'll do it as stop it and we'll again start it. Now it's running now at this port and as you can see here we have our cache storage ready so this is the cache you can see all these resources are cached now and if you see the api call there we have all the responses 
available now. So all these things are available to us in cache itself. After that is done, we can go to service worker and make the application offline either by checking this checkbox or we can go to network tab and choose this offline. So if you check the offline here, it automatically makes the network offline here as well. Now if I reload this page, you'll notice the images are appearing. Obviously there's some CSS issue because we have not cached the CSS. But just to demonstrate a couple of things over here, you'll find that the request that is being served now, for instance, this API call is now coming from service worker. So you can see the request is coming from service worker, not from internet. And similarly, all these images that we see over here are coming from memory cache. So the cache that we have created in our application is being used to serve these images. And similarly, these files as well that you see, service worker, manifest JSON, fair icon. Now in the next lecture, we'll take a look at how we can make our progressive web applications installable.